Hi, welcome to another midweek. Glad you've joined me. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like that God's far away from you or maybe you felt like that your prayers are just bouncing off the ceiling? You know, there's an old saying that says, if you feel distant from God, he's not the one that moved. What that means is you and I are the ones that have moved away from God. And there's all kinds of reasons that um, we move away from God and we don't even realize it. For example, maybe there's an attitude that you have about someone and you think you're right and they're dead wrong and you're not going to budge an inch. Well, maybe that attitude has pushed us away from God. Or maybe God has been talking to us about a habit or a sin in our lives that he wants us to get rid of and we're not ready to let go of that just yet. That pushes us away from God a little bit and we begin to feel alone or separated from God or that he doesn't hear our prayers. You know, in the book of James, it gives us some great details on how to practically live close to God. And so James is a short book, and we're going to be looking in chapter 4, starting in verse 6. And it says this, But he gives us more grace. That is why scriptures say, God opposes the proud, but shows his favor to the humble. So you see the first step that we have to do is we have to humble ourselves before God and say, even though I like holding on to that, or even though I like having that attitude and I'm not wrong, we have to humbly bef come before God and lay that at his feet and loosen our grip on that and that's what it means to humbly come before God. And then the next part gives us some great ideas there in verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God. So after we humble ourselves, we submit ourselves to what God's saying is right and wrong. We submit ourselves to saying, God, whatever you want, that's what I want. We submit ourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You know, a lot of times we like to just read that verse, just part of it that just says, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Well, we've started at the wrong spot. The place to start is submit yourself then to God. So see, we have to submit ourselves before God. And then when we have that temptation to grab a hold of that sin or that attitude or that habit, we can resist the devil who's tempting us to do those things. And when we are humble before God and submitted ourselves to God, and we say, I'm not gonna do that, then he will flee from you. And this one is so, so important. Come near to God and he will come near to you. What does that mean? come near to God. It doesn't say God's going to draw near and then we're going to draw near. You know why? Because he's already done all the drawing. He began to draw us into relationship when he died on the cross for us. And so we have to come next to him. And when we humble ourselves, when we submit ourselves, then we're drawing close to God. And then that's when we're going to sense his presence that's when we're going to be able to tell that our prayers are going beyond and above the, the ceiling. It's because we have humbled ourselves, we've submitted ourselves, and we're drawing close to God. But a lot of that is easy to read. It's easy to say. But living that out each day when something new comes along that tempts us to grab hold of that habit or that sin or that attitude that is ungodly, that we have to do that whole process each time, each day. Humble ourselves, submit ourselves, 
draw close to God. So I hope that this week when you feel separated from God or that God's not answering your prayers or maybe you just don't sense his presence, that we will humble ourselves and begin to search ourselves and ask, God, why is it that I've moved away from you? And then submit ourselves to whatever God shows us and draw our hearts close to him so that we can find and sense his presence again in our lives. Let me pray for us. God, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for the book of James that gives us practical things on how to live out close to you. God, I pray that you would just put it on our heart and give us the what we need to submit ourselves, to humble ourselves, to draw close to you so that we can live close to you and know what you want and desire for our lives and uh, continue to reach out to us and may we humble ourselves before you each and every day and it's in your name that I pray amen well thanks for bringing me and joining me into your life this day for midweek and hope to see you again